Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. Over the years, just for curiosity more than anything else, see if I could do it, um, I've made several single shot rim fire firearms and one center fire single shot firearm. And um, <clears throat> a couple years back, Linda and I were sitting out on a lovely late May morning and she said, uh, you know, you haven't made a gun in a long time. And I said, well, you know, I've pretty much pretty much done the single shot rimfire thing and so um not not that much interest and she uh said what I'd really like to see you make is the smallest firearm you can challenge accepted <laughs> and of course um I had some stipulations it had to be large enough that I could actually use it and um, it had to be in a real caliber, no two millimeter pin fires. Um, and um, it was on. And the end result was this. I'm going to have to get that quite close to the camera if you were to see anything about it. <laughs> this is a tiny miniature single shot Derringer chambered in 22 short because... I did also stipulate that it had to be at least arguably useful, and that was kind of the minimum I could find. <laughs> We're going to have to go to the tabletop for this one because it's really small. So, the miniature Derringer. Um, this has a section of barrel taken from a, a cutoff piece of a 1022 barrel and chambered in 22 short. You cannot force a 22 long rifle into this. It is single action, and it has a, uh, the insides are 5160 spring steel, and the outsides are 1018, or mild steel plate. And um, as you can see, it is a fully finished firearm. It is extremely small. How small is it, I hear you cry? It is three and a quarter inches long and two and a quarter inches from the bottom to the tip of the hammer spur, which sticks upwards about an eighth of an inch. I didn't serrate it because it wasn't necessary. Uh, the mechanism is extremely simple. There are very, very few internal parts. Really, there's just the trigger and hammer and a couple springs. You can see the trigger return spring here underneath. And inside there is a flat mainspring that acts on the hammer. Um, to open this, to unload and show clear, as I'm about to, you bring the hammer to half cock, rotate this lever 180 degrees, and this lever basically blocks the barrel from moving this way. And of course, to show clear, just no cartridge. Now, I don't know if you can see, but this is a fully rifled barrel. This is a completely legal firearm by ATF's definitions. To load it, of course, you simply drop a 22 short cartridge into the chamber, close the gun, and this lug prevents it from rotating too far in this direction. Rotate the lever to lock it, and you're ready to go until you cock the hammer and pull the trigger to fire it. And uh, spur triggers take a little getting used to. It's much easier to use it when it's pointed. You can see there are no sights whatsoever. And the finish is simply blue ink. And the grips are Coca Bolo, which <laughs> used a rather small crap scrap. Wow. Uh, from my knife making. And that's really all there is to it. The barrel is hinged on this screw here. And um, as I say, there's not much to it. Um, just as a quick example of just how small this is, the Smith & Wesson 642 revolver in 38 Special is considered a small gun. And it absolutely dwarfs the miniature Derringer. <laughs> So, <clears throat> despite its small size and whimsical nature, this is not a toy. Um, if 
if you shoot someone with this, they're going to the hospital. And um, it could produce severe injury or even death. So, not a toy. And frankly, I would not make a gun that was a toy because the two need to remain very, very separate things. Under federal law, you are allowed to manufacture any firearm you can legally possess for your own use. Um, to manufacture for purpose of sale, you need to have a uh, Class 7 FFL. And so I do not manufacture pistols for sale because I don't have that FFL. <laughs> so uh, state laws vary on this, which is interesting because the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms considers it your constitutional right to manufacture firearms for your own use, and states are allowed to do as they please. And that's as close as we're going to get to politics in this. But um, the miniature Derringer, nifty little firearm. I do actually shoot it once in a while, but honestly, with no sights at all and being really the bottom end of what it is possible for me to manipulate. It's, um, I don't shoot it a lot, but, uh, it was fun and it was very interesting to build. So there it is until next time, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.